Immigration is a hot topic in our country right now. And I think it's especially important to us Sisters of St. Joseph uh, for a couple of reasons. One is our headquarters, what we call our mother house, is with less than 100 miles from the border. So um, Orange County has been a natural stopping place for immigrants coming from Mexico, Central America, and it, you know, it just, it's not possible to not see and be aware of immigrants in this county, how they live, where they work, what's going on. A second thing I think why we sisters are really uh, interested in this topic, because our founder, uh, Jean-Pierre Medaille, a Jesuit priest in 1650, was very strong in reminding the sisters that everyone was their neighbor and to pay particular attention to their neighbors without distinction about who has money, who's poor, who's rich, the color of anyone's skin. Sometimes these uh, children who came when they were young and the back of their parents' car and didn't really have any choice about whether they were leaving their own country and entering the United States, sometimes they're referred to as the dreamers, the chasing the American dream. They're here and they would like to stay and they would like to be part of the American dream. I first heard about dreamers 20, 22 years ago at Taller San Jose in Santa Ana because we had a lot of dreamers in that program. They were um, students who were now 18 or 19. Uh, they had come across the border at two years old, four years old. They'd never been back to Mexico. They knew how to speak Spanish to their family, but they really didn't know Mexico. They knew the United States. They went to school in the United States. They graduated from high school in the United States. And when they began to want to do what American citizens could do, get a driver's license. They, sometimes that was the first time they realized that I'm not a citizen, I can't do this. Get a job, I'm not a citizen, I can't get this job. And so I saw them really hampered and crashing. And so at that time, when I heard about the DREAM Act uh, that was possibly gonna be passed as a federal act to allow uh, these young children who came as young children to have a path towards citizenship. I kept thinking it's going to happen any time. Well, if not this year, it'll happen next year. It's been 20 years that I've known about it, and still we know we have no legislation about that. What we would really advocate and want to work toward is fair immigration practices. We would see Sisters of St. Joseph doing is learning, trying to learn as much as we can about these issues and advocating with our legislators, especially right now in Washington, our Congress people, to encourage them to work toward the support of uh, DACA and to be able to enable these dreamers to have a route toward citizenship. Immigration is not a linear, clean, easy process. It's often about poverty. And there's just a lot of circumstances that make it difficult. And I think when we began um, Tayer San Jose Hope Builders in 1995, we had either immigrants or the children of immigrants who are still trying to find their way out of poverty. So um, I think that what I see our sisters doing is a lot of advocacy, uh, a lot of learning, a lot of companioning, and helping people to move forward.